Hey everybody, I'm Steven21967 wearing the infected. And for some odd reason, for a portion of my recording, I didn't get any sound. Uh, I've checked the other videos, sections of the video that I did for today's videos, and the majority of them have sound, but the very beginning just, just didn't. I don't know what I did wrong. Uh, anyway, we're just going to move forward. So I have like no protein and I'm having some trouble finding uh, an animal, <laughs> any animals. I've had this happen sometimes in winter, you just cannot find them at all. They're not here or there or anywhere. So we're going we're gonna to suffer for a little bit, walk around the property. I'm not going to go too far. If I can't really find something this close... We're probably not going to find anything anywhere. So today we're going to make an oil extractor. And the reason why we're going to make the oil extractor, well, you're going to see here, is we need to make, um, well, we need the oil cans in order to make plastic with bark chips, which I just showed there. And then the plastic we combine with cobalt and copper, I believe, to create electrical parts. And then those electrical parts we can create other production um, um, items. I think I think we need it for uh, the cement mixer. I could be wrong about that. But yeah, we, we need to make a bunch of electrical parts. So anyway, I am going to, uh, we need to get some d stuff done for getting that oil extractor up and running. And, you know, we'll just take a look at it here. What do we need? Screw, steel ingots, uh, aluminum ingots, and mechanical parts. The steel ingots will be the thing that will probably be the biggest challenge, but I think we'll be able to take care of it. We just got to go to the cave, get some lead ore, and then we need six iron ore, and I'm pretty sure I have six iron ore. Let's check out the copper extractor. Looking really good. Lots of copper. And I'm noting how that says add oil when in reality you can run the mineral extractors with not only oil but biofuel so the developer really should add that to um to that message there so players know that they can run oil extractors on biofuel as well as a can of oil from the oil extractor i'm going to check out the iron ore looking good i think we have enough to take care of the iron ore requirement for making steel. And here, because I'm suffering for protein and sometimes it can be really hard to find animals, I finally decide to grab the beef stew and in the end, I'm going to end up eating this beef stew. Just do it. Just, just eat it. Just eat it. There you go. Good boy. There you go. Now we don't have a problem anymore until our protein hits zero again and we still haven't found an animal. All right, we're thinking about, we're thinking about, we're going to go get some lead ore. Yeah, we're going to go get some lead ore. I'll bring it back when you get to the cave. That's the cave. Our cave, our small cave. You are coming up on the cave. And I brought along a storage crate, but I think in the end, I'm going to decide that we really don't need it. Oh, look at how that light changes. Yep, get the, get the yellow helmet light on. Let's get in there. Hopefully no bears or, or vambies run in on us. That would definitely not be a good thing. So we're in the middle of winter. And the water, the lake that's inside of here, the pool. No, it's not a lake. It's just a pool of water. Yeah, it's inside of a cavern. I don't think it's it would be considered a lake or even a pond. It's just a pool of water. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got lead, clay. Yeah, just grab it. Let's move on. I'll take the clay anyway. Why not? We got some mushrooms over there. Okay, we'll probably we'll we'll probably grab some of them while we're in here. Yeah, just grab some. They're good. So mushrooms are great for health recovery. Mushrooms are as good as cucumbers when it comes to if you've taken a lot of health damage and you want to get it back. Pop a mushroom. Actually pop mo multiple mushrooms in this game. It's good. It's good. You'll get a lot of health back. So there we go. We got another 
lead ore, lead, lead, lead node, <laughs> lead boulder, I think the developer called them. Clay, lead, and lead. I don't know if I even get one or iron ore in here. And here, it's all frozen over. I think it's February right now. So anyway, um, I know you guys are like, ah, it kind of stinks without the sounds and everything. Oh, I agree with you. It's just that like the first 20 minutes of the video has no sound. And I didn't want to go back and try recording it because it would, everything would be out of order because you would be, if I try to record this, it's already spring. So you'd have the beginning of the video be like, it's spring and I'm going out and I'm mining this stuff. And then we come back, it's winter because we, once the video, I, I already listened to the other videos, the other cuts. So there's like, uh, I think I have like 10 different, uh, you know, short videos I did. And I'm going to put them all together in DaVinci Re Resolve. Because it's, uh, you can get free version of DaVinci Resolve. You don't get all the features, but the features I need are uh, covered by Resolve. You know what, I think, I, I think a rock behind us just popped up while, while we were turning here. But all we need is six... Uh, lead ore to go along with six iron ore so we can make six uh, steel alloy and yeah I, I think we got everything here I don't think we're gonna do do any more I think we're gonna head out yeah it looks like seven is that seven yeah or is that eight no it looks like I think we got eight we got eight so that's perfect I think we take a look at the recipe right here yep lead ore we already know that fragments there you go steel alloy one lead ore one iron ore and we have enough iron ore back at the base in order to make six steel alloy which will give us six bars steel bars i mean okay i was just going to stop here we'll get back uh i think the next video is where the sound was working again all right we have everything here together i have the lead ore we have the iron ore and we're going to go up here and make the steel alloy and nope i still don't have sound yet i know some of my videos have sound we just gotta we just have to deal with this so i'm going to make six steel alloy do i make oh, we'll see here if i'm going to make all of them yep they don't stack so you can't oops so you can't stack them on one on top of each other like you can fragments but of course i mean they look like fragments but they're uh steel alloy there you go, that's six now. We gotta put those in the forges. We gotta put those in the forges. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm watching myself. We're going back. Oh yeah, we're checking. Yep, six steel ingots. We've looked at this enough time. You should be able to remember this. Hurry up. Put those in the forges. Let's get this stuff cooking. Good boy. Oh great. You don't have any fuel in there. All right, what do we got? Looks like we got five here, perfect. If all five of my forges are out of fuel, then that should be enough. That should help and take care of everything once and for all. Yep, okay. It kind of bug, bugs me if we come at different angles to these uh, two items like this, it seems like you might want to put a little more fuel in there, Steve. All right, we got, we got, okay, did we do seven of them or is that, yeah, let's keep that. Okay, that's good. That's good enough. That's good enough. All right, it's probably going to take a little bit for it to finish cooking. I think what I might do here, let's see. What, what I end up doing is I end up taking everything. Uh, stop looking at that. We're not going to do that. You're not doing a water house. You're not doing a greenhouse in this video, stupid. Stop looking at them. I know you want them. Just go back to what you're doing. We're going to end up moving all those uh, containers, all the uh, all these crates that are outside. I'm going to take them inside. All right. So I think I'll just pause the video here. All right. What's that sound? It's a vampy. Oh, no. Get him, Steven! Get him! Oh my god, the blood. All that blood. 
And he gives me some fat. Great. Great. I have to show that. Okay, so I have to, I have to make a confession. I mean, this is this is an honest mistake that I make sometimes. Sometimes, um, like when I'm in the middle of grinding stuff and I'm not like recording it, I will. Some of you that do videos that are listening may do the same thing. I will turn off all Vambies and Predators in the game. I will completely turn that off in my settings. I'll save my game. I'll go to the the settings menu, you know, before you load up the game and I'll turn Vambies and Predators off so I can work unimpeded, uninterrupted. But sometimes I forget to turn it back on and then I record. And then you guys, you, there's a couple of videos where there's no Vambies in them. And that's just simply because I'm, um, I am, um, I forgot. So I just I, I just thought I'd say that to you, so you understand how I do these things sometimes. Is I try I definitely try to have Vambies turned on, Vambies and Predators turned on, so we can have some excitement. But man, when I'm just grinding alone and and we're not recording, I don't want them. No, they don't want them. It's just like that's the reason why in C, in my season season two videos you'll see practically no vambies or predators in many of the videos because i have a huge fence around my compound and i'm keeping everything out because i don't want them in and i understand like the developer would be like yeah but then you're not getting the experience and you're playing the game because you like you like zombies i mean these are vambies they're vampire zombies but that's part of why you're playing it well the thing is right now is the game is so much you know base building and stuff there's there's not a lot of going on and adventuring in the world you know there aren't different places for us to go we're mostly here i think like this game could use yeah you know, some more active some more people activities things to do outside i mean we got caves so that's kind of nice uh i think the developer said at 9.0 we might get uh respawns in villages okay so this is me just trying to figure out where exactly do i want to put the crates that have the um the iron have the ore and the bars and everything and of course they should be over right by um the the forges because that would make sense but instead i have the these other crates full of random miscellaneous stuff that are right there so this was kind of a a planning snafu on my side but that's okay we're all right and we got aluminum in there so we're going to need more aluminum anyway i'm going to finish doing this i'll bring you guys back and we'll take i think this might be the end of this part of the video where we don't have sound i'm hoping got a deer oh come on can you can you get him do you think i can think i can uh Oh, he's dead. He's definitely dead. Oh, yeah. We get lunch, guys. Everyone, we're having venison. Oh, look at that. Four stack. Oh, yeah. It's good stuff. Just pile one bullet. Just do it. Yeah. Just keep hitting them. Keep hitting them fast and hard, man. All right. We got that. All right. Down to 35. Huh. Hmm. I thought I had 40. I I don't believe that I wasted that many. Okay, let's let's see. Can I put this down right here? Oh, nice. I like that change. It was always such a hassle to put down uh, the log cart. Oh, watermelon. In the middle of winter. I I'm not complaining, man. I love watermelon. I think my absolute most very favorite fruit in the whole wide world, or should I say fruit or vegetable, cuz no, no, maybe not my favorite vegetable. But my f absolute most favorite fruit in the world is, is bananas, man. I think I'm bananas for bananas. They're awesome. I think they're just like the best thing in the world. Uh, let's see. I'm going to nom this. Yeah, I'm going to nom that because 
we know that that's going to go the the watermelon will probably go pretty fast i mean it'll start going bad fast all right i got a bunch of rocks i need to go knock down some of those uh stumps for firewood all right this area is kind of open you can, i don't have my uh I don't have my plant beds in here anymore, so we can just leave that open. Uh, let's see what we got. And again, for those of you wondering, hey, why don't you make one of the the iron tools? It's like, no, I'm not. I'm not wasting my iron. It's still it's still early game. We gotta watch what we are spending, what resources we have now on. There'll come a day when I'll be swimming in iron. <laughs> There'll come a day when all of us will be swimming in iron if you just continue moving forward. Yeah, yeah, let's get this. All right. Perfect. And yeah, let's see. Oh, I can't, I can't, okay, I can't pick up anymore. Okay, stop swinging. Okay, he's not going to stop swinging. Huh? Good. Yeah, I was stuck swinging. <laughs> uh, let's get you in here. Just going to put you... Here, gonna get you one. You're gonna get one. Don't think I have enough to do that. You get one, you get one. You're gonna get one, and you're gonna get one. And I think I do need to go back. Oops, I can't right or alt click that. Alright, let's go get let's go get one more. I would have I was gonna bring back one more stack of these, but But I didn't have room. I didn't have room, so now we have room. We're all good and everything. All right. I thought I saw a Vambi. It's like, if I see Vambi, like I said, man. Oh, you already actually have some. Who needs? Anybody need any more, really? You all good? You guys are all good. And that one is going to get one. Yeah, um... All right, you go there, you go there. Oh, there's this. Put that there. And... Oh, I thought that was... Eventually, I'm going to get this organized. Eventually. So, where was it? Um, we have five plastic. Five plastic and looks like four mechanical parts. So I have steel, mechanical parts, not quite enough mechanical parts, aluminum ingot. We're going to have to run out. I think we might have to run out and get some aluminum. Oh, let's go check dinner or lunch. There we go. We nommed, we nommed everything. Good, good. I'm happy about that. Eventually, we've got to make the, the big thermos. Yep, keep that around. I mean, that's like, that's a cucumber, but look at that. It's like, that's going to replace cucumbers for uh, hit point recovery. Um, okay, I'm going to be stupid one more time. We've got steel ingots. we got six of those. I need 15 aluminum, 20 screws, mechanical parts. Let's start getting this. Oh, I moved everything. <laughs> oh, no. What the hell? All right. Uh, we're going to make some more screws, so we're going to have to grab some more. Uh, I think we just need like two more co copper bars, and then we'll be fine. Mechanical parts. So we, that's fine. All right, let's go, let's see, where is, there, I need uh, one, two. Let's go get these. Let's make our screws. Yep, let's get this done. That's fine. This is not 15 aluminum. That's 11. Oops, oh, that's right, my, my, my weight is up on my my user interface so all right so that's 
We're going to have to go down to the aluminum extractor site. Okay, I just need four and two mechanical parts. Let's get the mechanical parts since I'm here. I should, I should. I think I might actually have some iron in here somewhere. Oh, yep, yeah, we got some iron. Good. Um, you're open. Oops, no, no, no. That's This is what I meant to put in there. All right, let's go out to the aluminum site and see how it's doing. Oh, dummy! You're supposed to make that into mechanical parts first. Is this, was this how we did this? Yeah. There we go. We got that done. All right, everyone, we're, we're going to hustle down to, uh, yep, going down here. I'll bring you guys back in just a little bit. I'll bring you back when we get there. Let's see how this is doing. Okay. It's doing very good. All right. Um, no, I don't need, I already have those at my other base. Okay, there we go. We got aluminum. Let's hustle back to the base. <laughs> There we go. We got this all taken care of. We need one, two, three, four. All right. So, there's one issue that we have. Let me move this. I'm going to move it over right by this. The only issue that we have right now is I don't have 100 power. I only have, um, we only have, like, uh, we have, we have 80 power. I'll move these a little bit over here. Yep, we have 80 power available from our solar panels. I need one more solar panel. So here's what we're going to do. It's late. Let's get some sleep. It's it's 8 p.m. Let's go get some sleep. And then we're going to go and we're going to sit up by the aluminum extractor. And we're going to get aluminum. All I need is one more. I have everything I need. We just need uh, one more bar of aluminum. Then I can make, the, make um, one more solar panel. And then we'll have enough power. You're good. I'm going to eat you. Now I'm on you. We can actually kind of hit... Oh, we're not going to do that, though. Oh. Uh-oh. It's starting to storm. And that... Do I have a little... I should have a little bit left. Good. All right. We... We, we used up all of our aluminum. So... I, I have enough cobalt, have enough copper, have enough iron. Just one more. Just one more. One more and we're okay. Let me get on my katana. There we go. Let's get ready for battle in case we have to. So, ooh, let's grab that. I'll take free. Okay. We're going to run up. We're going to run up and uh, get to the uh, aluminum striker site. Oh, rock on. Rock on. We got one. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's let's get back here and uh, let's make make uh, one more aluminum bar, and that way we'll have enough solar power that we can have the oh I'm gonna have potato, and then we can have the uh, oil extractor turned on. Now what we're gonna definitely need to do with all this is I need to get some more solar panels going if I want to get like the cement mixer because I plan on having. Well, the oil extractor isn't going to work during the night because I don't, I'm not going to have enough power. If I had a bunch of windmills or wind turbines, and that would be even harder to get enough turbines together. Oh, do you see what I see over there? Yeah, we're going to go deal with them now. I'm not going to have them come back through our base. There we go. Rapid shots. Oh, look at that, man. Oh. 
Let's just get back. Let's let's get back. I know I'm out of meat, but yeah, we're in the same situation. We're our protein is running low. Did I leave the? I left these all on. I'm so bad. Uh, let's not waste. Let's not waste it. I don't want to waste it. It's early on game. I want to make sure I don't waste too much resources. Every every resource waste is going to result in uh, time and effort. Let's let's while that's going, let's just do a quick check over here. See how this is doing. One. <laughs> oh oh, we have no oil. We're out of oil. Um, I can't wait until we get into the spring so I can start fishing and then. Uh, yeah, it's going to take me a while to re <laughs> remember things like this. It's like you moved everything. You already moved everything. <laughs> don't forget that. Oh, yeah, of course. All right. Yep. We got to we got to stay on this man. Who know? I don't know how long this is off, but let's let's get this up and running. I grab that and that's five. I, I don't need those rocks. They could just sit there for all I care. That's also off. And we're going to grab this aluminum out of here. Or, I mean, copper. I'll grab that copper out. Yeah, every, yeah, everything else can kind of just sit there for right now. Yeah, so I've, I'm totally expecting at night for this to... Um, I'm expecting the oil extractor to turn off at night. And I'm going to have to come here every morning and remember to power it on. And we're overloaded. Okay, this is going to take me a little bit. I have my aluminum bar, so we are ready to go. We can get stuff... Oh. That's so annoying. That's the problem about what I was doing. As I was trying my best to plan how these things would line up. Alright. So, we got a solar panels. We got a bunch... We got a bunch. That's that's um, 120. Let's take the short way down. Hey, what's up? And power on. And it's 9:30, so we should be we should be okay for a while. Let me get. I want to get this out of my hand. I don't need. Yeah, I'll just get that. Yeah, gotta get my thumbnail. Gotta get my thumbnail of 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 the mineral extractor. Um. Okay. So. So 120 power in, power out, power available. We have this much stored. Uh, you know what would be cool is to come here during the night. Here's here's what we'll do. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. Uh, we're gonna do this during the night. I'm gonna do some the video during the night, and with the mineral extractor running and zero power in, we're just gonna watch this and see. I'm gonna show you how fast this runs down. And you're like, well, you only have one one battery. Even if I've had more. I've had so many batteries that I can't keep a mineral extractor. And, um, no, not a mineral extractor. I mean oil extractor. I've had, uh, in one of my bills, in like, uh, what was it? Season 1, the original game with the original map. I had a one oil extractor. And I, what else did I have? I had uh, a refrigerator. What else did it, what did I have that was running? So the refrigerator and the oil extractor just run all the time unless you turn them off, once you turn them on. And I swear to God, when I go to bed at night, I had like four batteries, okay, four solar batteries. This is a true story. And I wake up in the morning and... The refrigerator would always have no power. Always no power. It would be off and I'd have to turn it on. So some of you are wondering, why are you just going with one solar battery? It's because I think that they're kind of, I think they're kind of crap. I, I, they don't, they don't survive. They don't provide power through the night. Seriously, that's exactly what ha happens to me. And now I wish I had that stupid deer. Okay, so we're going to kind of, um, I'm going to get some, uh, f let's go handle this guy. 
<laughs> that, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> oh god, that was so fun. Uh, thanks for the four feathers. Oh god, that was so much fun. Oh, okay. Uh, every, uh, everything's over here, dummy. Dummy! Everything is over here. I have too much... Uh, are you on... And I was just gonna put those guys in there. Just do them. Oh God, that was okay. You're you're in my way. You're in my. Way. Go over here. Oh, that was. I enjoyed that immensely. I was totally, totally waiting for that guy to just jump up in the air so I could fight him in the air. Um, I think I had one where I fought a guy. I jumped down and I was on top of him, killing him, on top of him. Yeah, that was cool. All right, uh, let me let me think about a few things. I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. So last night I stayed up all night, and I wanted to check to see how the battery or how the power that's coming into our base works. Now that we have an oil extractor, so if you look at these components down here in the bottom, it says Waterhouse 100, but this is not built, so this is not taking any power. Oil extractor is running right now, so it is definitely taking power. I have one mixer that I have completed, but it's not running. And then these other four mixers are placeholder images like the white, like the Waterhouse. They aren't built yet, so they're not drawing any power. Right now, only the oil extractor is drawing power. It's on and it's drawing power. So here is what I discovered last night when I was uh, checking out the power. So solar power, the, the solar panels st stop um, being at 100% power at 8 p.m. at night. So I have three, I have three solar, solar panels and it, it wasn't until 10 p.m., two hours later, that those solar panels completely stopped producing power. When they, they, when they hit zero, power in was zero, Power out was zero. Power available was zero under the power info. And then I only have one store on one solar battery. And it took it uh, this one solar panel, one battery to be completely drained in one hour. And then after that, of course, um, there was zero power available for my base so around 10 p.m. is when my oil extractor stopped working and in the morning at 6 p.m. the solar panel started getting power from the light and I think it took it like maybe 45 minutes maybe an hour for the power to become all the way up to 120 power and so maybe an hour so it's, I mean, if you look at these numbers, it's a little weird. It's difficult for me to make any assumptions from this other than that I wanted to just mention this to tell you kind of what I was seeing. And you see, we have a rain store outside where power in just went to 60. We have a negative of power available of 40. So we're going to start to lose power stored is going to start to get drained. So hopefully the storm will pass before the power stored hits zero. And again, we still got 60 power coming in, but we're at a negative 40 available because of the storm. So anyway, ignore what's going on right now. From from those figures, if if everything stays the same, now again, the more power you have, probably the faster the battery is going to get drained. But with a 100 power extractor going, it took one hour for it to drain one battery. And in order to keep just the oil extractor going all night, again, the power, the, the battery was treat completely drained at 11 p.m. But we started getting solar power at 6 a.m. 
and let's just say around 7 a.m. we have enough power that we can turn on uh, the oil extractor again. Does that sound right to me? Yeah, I think around 7 a.m. we could probably do it. But if we only had one solar panel, my bet would be probably no. We probably, yeah, we probably have have to have more solar panels to six, to be confident about, about turning on the uh, oil extractor again at 7 a.m. So basically, to keep everything going, just to keep 100 powers going out to the oil extractor, so the oil extractor doesn't run out. My what I believe, if I'm number, if I'm correct about these numbers. I believe, um, based on what what I have, which is three solar solar ban solar panels and just the one solar battery, I'm going to need seven. I'm going to need eight solar batteries to keep just one oil extractor at 100 power going through the night, so it doesn't stop. And I think a refrigerator is also 100 power. So, I guess double that then. That Then we need like 16 of them. Something like that. Yeah, 16. Maybe 20. Just call it 20. I need 20 solar batteries to keep an oil extractor and a refrigerator. Oh, wait. We forgot. We're going to have a water house. Eventually. Because I'm going to have the greenhouse done. I'm going to put all my plants in the greenhouse. I'm going to put my fire in the greenhouse. I'm going to put my drying racks in the greenhouse. So, um, that's 300 power. So now I need somewhere, you know, 24. Yes, 20. I need 24 solar batteries to keep up with, we, with the power requirements. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I mean, that's, that's my rough estimation. I'm probably, I may or may not be uh, completely accurate. Don't take those as set in stone. All right, this is doing well. We're at a half oil. Um, we're up to 12 right now, which is really good. I'm happy about that. But again, I don't have enough. Uh, I don't have wind turbines. I don't have a. I don't have enough wind turbines to keep that going all night. Okay, we got that ore is going okay. Lots of stones. Lots of stones this time. It all depends, man. I see different amounts. Like if I empty this out and refill it up to full and let it go, by the time it's empty, you might see uh, like twice the amount of ore and half the amount of stone. So it's kind of random. I, I wouldn't rely or count on those numbers. I just run underneath here. I can't wait to upgrade this. I, I can't wait to finish upgrading this and see it. it. It might be a dumpster fire when it's been upgraded. I think the whole idea is we looked at a different way of building and we did it. We we did a way of building that doesn't require snapping. And and we could do it. We could totally do it. I mean, I couldn't do what I just did with um like in subsistence. I don't think I could have done this. I might have done, been able to do this in uh Valheim. I think I could probably do this in those games. And I think our... So we refueled. It's thirty day 36. We're at half. The other one's close to half. So they're probably... So the other extractors are probably at a quarter right now. So I'm going to steal this. And let's go out to those extractors real fast. I'm going to... Actually, I want everything set up to have the same schedule. So all my extractors, I want to be at the same same close to the same place so when when the extractors here are hitting zero the extractors everywhere are hitting zero so i know it's time for me to take a few minutes and run out to my sites and make sure that they're all you know that they're, they all need to be topped up not only do they need to be topped up but they need to be emptied which is the best part and of course i didn't bring along an, an extra storage chest but that's okay I got 18.5 of 75 weight that I have available in my bag or on my person if you want to say so I can still put a lot of stuff a lot of stuff in here I gotta let the stamina come back up 
So yeah, being on, I was up all night checking that out, trying to get a, a rough estimate about how it works. I assume with more solar panels that might change. Oh, that's almost done. Split in half, split in half again. Yeah, let's go. Let's just try. Let's see. What is this? And a half again. Okay, so that's not quite one half, but it's sort of close. So I want all my extractors to be close to the same. I, I don't care about any of this stuff. I have enough coal at the uh, at the copper extractor at our base. Now we're gonna we're gonna go up to the cobalt extractor. I'll bring you guys back. And here we are. This is the cobalt extractor. This is going to be a pretty area to build. Oh, look at all that. Oh, that's so much. Oh, that's that's not quite half, but you know what? It's not going to matter. I'll probably forget about the extractors at my base, and then I'll come back and be like, oh. See, so this is... You see the, the, the iron one. Well, of course, the iron... Um, has a different I think the iron has different ratios but different this you can't rely on what you see here as a representation of what it's gonna always be like this is just like this is crazy I don't know if I've ever seen an extractor so full <laughs> of of ore as this just was I'm gonna leave the rest of the stuff in there I don't I honestly do not need it I don't. Oh, it's good. We're going to build here. We are totally going to come here and build. We got to build something that overlooks Crocodile Swamp. I'm going to put a little dock out there and everything. I mean, it's a big enough, it's big enough that we can actually kind of put a dock out there. All right, so that's up and going. That's been, you know, fueled up to the point where it's close to the same. Yeah, let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. I could have topped it off, could have topped them all off. Maybe should have just done that, but that's okay. Eventually, they'll all hit zero. At the, they'll all hit zero, and then I'll run out, and each one of them will be refilled that same exact moment or day, you know, within the same exact few minutes as it takes me to run from one to the other to the other, and then it'll be consistent across the board. So I know that when one, when my, when one is done at my base. I know all of them are done and need to be emptied and refueled. So I think that'll be it for this video. Yeah, all we basically got done was the oil extractor was created. And we got a chance to take a look at the uh, power cycle of our, solar of our solar panels and our solar battery. And if you went ahead and built windmills then you really shouldn't worry if you have enough power from your windmills to cover, to cover all the power that you that your base needs. As long as they cover that, you should never ever need a solar battery for any reason, ever. Alright, and power on. <laughs> Cause, because, because I just went to sleep and it's off because I don't have enough, enough uh, battery battery storage to keep that going all night and I'm not making more batteries I am not spending my resources making more batteries so yeah so that'll be it for this video you guys if you like this video I would appreciate a thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell to get alerts when I come out with new videos and as always um, comment and then we'll see you guys in the next video later dudes